Hello my friends, it's episode 54. Welcome back to Stalingrad. I'm in the mood for Panzer Corps. Right. I guess we'd pretty much made our uh, we'd made our front line that we wanted to make and now was the time to push on the sea. You get a lot of turns on this mission for what you're supposed to be doing. I mean, I'm still convinced that if you were aggressive enough, you could just airbase here and take out all the ships you require. And then take out all the ammo dumps and probably be done by now. If you didn't mind taking a bit of damage, of course, because there's a... Uh, there's a fair few anti-aircraft gun, anti guns in this town. In fact, there's a whole row of them. <laughs> It's almost like they didn't want you to do that, but you totally could if you had the uh, AA suppression, a couple of AA suppression heroes, for example. Right. Can my jet fighter get over there? Not quite, but close enough to get one. Ba -ba -ba -bum. I can make him eat an artillery shell, but it wouldn't achieve anything for me. I'm tempted to just leave this unit here. So this is a city tile, obviously, but these guys have got readiness, and this is sort of like the corner of where the road begins, so the rest of this area is kind of hard to move around. I just sort of get a feeling that uh, it makes a nice linchpin while my main army is pushing up here and destroying everything. aircraft gun is here. Right, let's have a think about what we're doing next. Bombardiers to your stations! I guess the other plane that I want to bring over there is that, in due time. Right, let's have a think about what we're doing. Let's go for a small scout. Hopefully, if there's any fighters around, in fact, there's some up here, maybe that will draw them out of position and I can go after them next turn. My poor scout planes, man, they're always bait. Okay, my engineers are ready to get in there and do some clearing. I guess that's an anti-tank gun. Um, hmm. I 
I'm thinking we have an opportunity here to get the uh, heavy weapons team steamroller and begin our journey. Support fire prevents overrun, irritatingly. I'll just soften them. Ah, uh, this doesn't have no retaliation, okay. I think we're still very much in the forming up stage here. Getting my artillery in such in position. They could do that, but it would be, it would be rough. Okay, I think we are arranged for a big push now. That should be fine. Why did I do that? I was supposed to be moving these guys. Oh well, whatever. I was supposed to be moving the engineers because they're going to help me clear the area, but whatever. I'll move them up later. Once I'm convinced that I'm secure. think that there are any aircraft that can reach this. But what I'll do is I'll send over a couple of spy planes and if they get attacked then the jet fighter can come over and assist. Alright, I'll do. Jet fire. I mean, poor scout plane. Jet fire is going to have a great day. Except that I can't see them. unit. Mm. That's nothing exciting. Oh, 
Hi, boys. These guys got survivor. Nine or six. It's like they've got survivor. Oh well. That's spy planes for you, it's like entrapment. Still gotta be careful. Still fighters out there. Choo choo! Steamroller is unlocked. I obviously I don't want to push into that position with no ammunition that would be unwise that would be unwise Stand by. Put some hurt on their entrenchment value. the old flame machine going. Needs lots of support though. Oh, it's close. Realize that basically most of my fighters are unavailable. So my bombers might as well keep themselves busy sinking stuff. This plane will probably come out next turn and uh, go on the offensive. I just have to make sure that I finish the job next time. Whoosh. 
Okay, the Fawoosh cannot continue because of the anti-tank gun. Unless I can somehow get close enough to hit it. I highly doubt that's actually enough to switch it off. Nope, this uh, flak track is so, so soft. Obviously, the, the machine gunners could get them. That would leave them with no ammunition, though. And I don't think that this flame track has got enough movement left to push up. I think for safety's sake, I'm actually probably better off holding holding on to my ammunition here. This is the self-defending infantry. But, you know, just because this infantry defends itself does not mean that I want to leave it exposed without support. My anti-aircraft gun is slowly repairing after my earlier misadventure. Oh, I forgot all about this. And this. It's alright, it won't take them too long to get to the front line. Wait, that's a fire! Isn't it? He just decided that he could get more done if he went after my artillery. Oh, this is actually quite a clever move. It's not going to be enough, though. The idea was to wear this down to expose this. But uh, there's too much of a traffic jam here for them to actually capitalize. Right, well this guy is dead. <laughs> He's uh he just entered the anti-aircraft hell zone. Yeah, sure. Whatever. If I'm going to take a loss, I'm going to take a loss, so be it. Alright. The shipping objective is nearly complete. The bunkers are actually almost in range now. Right, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy, shall we? Survivor! Survive this. Okay, we got lots of entrenchment. Time, my machine gunner is going to have a field day once they actually get the ball rolling. Mm. 
10, 12. Okay, those river patrol boats are actually irritating me. Hmm. Do I want to use my precious artillery to whittle them down? Well, I suppose it sort of is my primary objective, so... This is normally where you'd use air support to remove key units, but we don't have that luxury. Due to uh, this wall of anti-aircraft guns. tile, isn't it? Oh wow, I could actually get one damage there. These guys are not... Uh They're not in the AA umbrella. Kind of wasteful, but... setting up a very nasty artillery push now. It's really starting to take shape. It's really starting to take shape as an artillery push. Oh, would you look at that? I can steamroll that boy. Steamroll to my shell. I won't push in and start the murderizing though. We'll get rid of these river patrol boats first. And I want my units off. Um, like cooldown is the wrong word, but you know what I mean. I might go ahead and take that city, actually. Because why not? The old Manstein warning line is here. If 
For whatever reason, railway track does not improve road movement for vehicles, even though if there's a railway track, then there's usually, you know, smooth, flat terrain to use. Some vehicles of the time actually had, like, railway sponsons. So, uh, vehicles could drive onto the track, put down their sponsons to connect to the railway line, and then just use their wheels to drive themselves along the, uh, along the track, or along the ground next to the track. It's kind of a bit of a, an interesting thing. Right, I'm just sending out some planes as bait. I guess there's nowhere I can really position from here that doesn't grievously expose me to that wall of anti-aircraft guns. I tell you now though, that wall of anti-aircraft guns is going to disappear very rapidly when my grenadiers get next to it. One. Okay, there's two up there. Seeing him. Okay, well. That is the end of that. We got ten turns left. Just wondering if there's more to this mission than just killing these ammo dumps, because I could achieve that right now if I wanted to. No shadow of a joke or lie. The city is about to fall in a big way. 2,000 prestige for taking that. That's crazy. Oh, I guess there are some rewards. <laughs> right, we need to hit this. I'm going to take some return fire here, but it's necessary.
three of seven. I think that's low enough to make them surrender. Obviously, I don't want to move that onto this high ground tile without correctly defending it. I'm going to take this little detachment and just go and grab these two. They're uh, behind the Manstein aggression line, which I may just like save before I try and bypass it, just to see what happens. But for now we're going to play within the rules, and then maybe just for a laugh we'll see what happens if we cross the line. I wonder if these guys still shoot first if they were uh, in their trucks. What the trucks have got? They're okay. They're actually okay. Obviously, it wouldn't attack. It's just a case of I really don't want to I don't want to be on a high ground tile this is not a lethal artillery either so it's not gonna stop counter aggression this is the correct unit for the task it's just got to be there. Right, just sending the spy plane over. Fresh one for me to sacrifice. The anti aircraft gun wall is slowly melting. Pretty sure my fire jet can get over there. Let's go ahead and hurt these boys on the warning line. No one minds if I put a little hurt on the boys in the warning line, do they? Interestingly, he's gonna waste the last of his ammunition shooting at Strat Bomber. That then invites me to go in and do some damage. Just attack that, uh, attack that entrenchment. We hit the entrenchment and then these uh, surrender machines can just waddle up there and give them a little love taps. It is folly! It is madness! Okay. I guess I'm curious to find out what happens when you cross the land. Ouch. I 
Well, that AA gun did not repair, so... He's left himself extra vulnerable to follow up. That's a lot of tanks. That is an ass load of tanks. Uh, I think we have triggered... <laughs> I think we've triggered what happens if you cross the line. Not that I've crossed the line, but I destroyed a unit. And now suddenly there's a T-34-43 swarm moving across the map at great speed. Without tanks of my own, that might be tricky to get rid of. Well, the depots are... Uh the depots are in range, so uh, we can do what we want. But we are out of time, so that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I shall see you guys next time.